video we are going to take up one more concept how to import a module importing module is in this all python programs can call a basic set of functions called built in functions which includes a print function or an input function and the length functions python also comes with a set of modules called the standard library each module in a python program that contains a related group of functions that can be embedded in your program like as i said it is a print statement or input statement or the length statement all are embedded in a program for example a math module has a mathematics related functions similarly a random module has a random number related functions and so on before you can use the functions in a module so what you must do is you must import the module with an import statement the syntax for this is the import keyword the name of the module optionally more module names as long as they are separated by commas so what does it mean suppose if i want to import a random module i can say import random suppose if i want to import math module import math that means i can import a module by considering the name of the module suppose if i want to import more than one module at a time you need not have to create in a multiple statements instead i can use it in a single import module like import module uh, suppose i want to import the random import the random module and sys module os module and the math module in such a case i can say import the name of the module what is the name of the module random comma sys comma os comma math like that you can be able to import the modules by considering the multiple module names separated by a comma now we are going to take up one particular example import random for i in range 5 print random dot rad int 1 comma 10 so what will be the output the output will have five iterations starting from 0 1 2 3 4 that means you have five more uh, five iterations but every time the random number is picked within the range of 1 comma 10 once when you run it output may be 9 another time when you run it output may be 4 and another type may be run it as 6 like that so every time you will be able to get different uh, module uh, different random numbers now let us see how this will go into functions in this now suppose i will say import random okay import random module import random then sorry random import random then i want to print for i in range 5 for i in range 5 print name of the module i want to consider random dot rad int rand int rand int 1 comma 10 
So now, if I want to run this, then you are going to get the output as 9, 7, 3, 4, 5. It can be any number between 1 to 10. It is a random number which we are picking. But what is the output we are going to get it in this? The output what I am getting here is 94621. But in this case, what I am getting is 97345. Similarly, if I want to run it again, then I may be getting something else that is 104652. At any point of time, it will start taking only, they are picking the random numbers. That is what I am trying to tell you in this. Now, let us see further. So, rand int, you will go to get this. So, the random rand int function call evaluates the random integer between the two integers that you pass it. That means, between 1 and 10, it can be any random number. Rand int function is, the, is in the random module. You must first type name of the module that is random dot in front of the function name to tell python to look for this function inside the random module. So that means what does it mean of random dot rand int r a n d int 1 comma 10. So that means you are importing the random module since you are importing the random module in the random module you have to look for the function which is rand int wherein i want to access the random number between the range 1 comma 10 that is the meaning of this next here is an example of an import syst import statement that imports four different modules like import random comma sys comma os comma map now we can use any of the functions in these four modules from import statements now you can have the other form in which i can be able to import the random modules i mean uh, import statement an alternative form of the import statement is composed of the from keyword followed by the module name comma the import keyword and a star for example from random import star dot with this form of import statement calls to functions in random will not need the random prefix however using the full name makes for more readable code so, it is better to use the import random form of the statement. So, then we will go for the one more concept ending a program early with this dot exit function. The last flow control concept to cover is how to terminate the program. The program always terminate if the program execution reach, reaches the bottom of the instruction that means when you start executing the program of a set of codes it will start from the law first line and comes to the end only when the cursor reaches to the when the instruction reaches to the end of the program or end of the instruction however you can cause the program to terminate or exit before the last instruction by calling this is dot exit function this since this function is in the sys module you have to import sys before your program can use it so import sys while the condition is true print type exit to exit so what is the response the response is i will say some input function so in programming in python always the instruction whatever you give as an input that will be considered as a string so that is the reason why we are using input if response is equal to exit if response is equal to exit sys dot exit if not print u type plus response plus and a full stop 
So what is the output? Type exit to exit. Okay, when you run it, while the condition is true, the condition is always true. So naturally print type exit to exit. So it will go to execute this line first. Type exit to exit. So then response is equal to input. Now I need to give the input. What it means, print type exit to exit means, if I type exit in the input function, that is here, exit is equal to exit, condition is true, so it will go to exit the program. Suppose if you don't type the input as exit, then I will go to type my name, Manjunatha. Then, if this condition is not true, then it will skip this exit statement and comes to this. You type, then you, give, have, you have given space, plus what is the response? Response you what you have typed here, whatever you typed here, that is Manjunatha, so that will come here. And since you have a full stop, that full stop will go to come here. So again it goes back, because while the condition is always true, so then you will going to have the one more, you type exit to exit. So the next time what I will do, instead of typing exit, I will type Ashok. Then type Ashok. Then what happens is the response Ashok is equal to exit, no. So you type Ashok. Then again the condition is true, while the condition is true, again it goes back, print type exit to exit. So type exit to exit. So then what happens, response here is equal to, I will type exit here, the input. So what happens, Ex response is exit now. Is exit is equal to exit, condition is true, sys.exit. So it will go to exit the program. So this is how it will be uh, able to execute the program. So the explanation for this is, this program has an infinite loop, exactly, with no break statement inside. There is no break statement. The only way this program will end is if the execution reaches to sys.exit. Call is executed. Since the response variable is set by the input function, the user must enter exit in order to stop the program. So this is how you will be able to execute this. Now we will try to see how it will going to work in our program. So here I will go for import statement, import sys is the name of the program, sys, while true, while the condition is true, print type exit to exit. Okay, response is equal to input function. Okay, if response is equal to exit, sorry, if response is equal to exit, that is string exit, if the condition is true, if response is equal to exit, then I will have sys.exit. I am calling the function, which exit function, which is in sys module. That is the meaning of this, sys.exit. So sys is the module name and exit is the function name. So you have to call the module name first and then you have to call the exit function. Then if the condition is false, else print sys.exit, sorry. So here I will say if this is the exit, then print. If it is not true, then print. Print. What I need to do now? You type, you type given space, comma, uh, plus, plus response, plus within quotes full stop. This is the actual program. Now we will try to run this. I will run this program. So type exit to exit. Okay. Now I will write the input. The input what I will do, 
I will say Junatha. Then you type Manjunatha. Type exit to exit. Again, I will go to type Ashok. You type exit to exit. I will say Mahesh. Again, you type Mahesh. So the condition is always true. So it goes into the infinite loop. Now I want to exit this program. How to exit this program? Uh, type exit to exit. I will type exit. Then what happens? It will exit the program. So this is how you will be able to execute the program. How does this work? Let us see in step by step. You go to debug python file. So first import says then while condition is always true. Type exit to exit. So now I want to call exit is I will take Manjunatha. Sorry. Enter. Now response is Manjunatha. What is the response? Response is Manjunatha. Manjunatha is Manjunatha is equal to exit? No. So it skips that. You type response is Manjunatha, you will go to get. So here you type Manjunatha. Then while again the condition is true, it comes to this. Print type exit to exit. What is the response? Now previously the response was Manjunatha. Now I will say Ashok. Enter. Now you can see response is Ashok. Is Ashok is equal to exit? No. So it skips that. Print you type response will be Ashoka. So you become Ashoka. Again while the condition is true. Print type exit to exit. Now I will give the response which has Mahesh. Again response Mahesh is equal to exit. No. You type response Mahesh. Again if the condition is true. Print type exit to exit. What is the response? I will say something else. Chandrasekhar. Okay. Chandrasekhar is equal to exit. No. You type response as Chandrasekhar. While the condition is true, type exit to exit. What is the response? Now I will type response is equal to input. I will say exit now. Is exit to exit? Yes. So now the condition is true. Sys dot exit. Now what happens? It won't go to this. It will comes out directly and it will come to the command prompt. So this is how you will be able to execute the exit statement. How I can be able to terminate my program in the middle of the at any end at any time at any time of your program. So that can be done by using the sys dot exit function and in the import module of sys. So this is how you will be able to understand the concept of module in import. Thank you.